Hello friends, this video on transport in plants and animals part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now the next question that comes to your mind is, okay, we got to know that xylem transports from bottom to top and uh, phloem transports in both directions. But how exactly xylem transport? How is it possible that water and minerals they start moving in the upward direction against gravity? Because till now we all knew that everything gets attracted towards the ground. So everything tends to fall towards the ground due to earth's gravity. So how come xylem is able to transport in the upward direction against gravity? Similarly, how does phloem transports, how this movement of substances happen from one part of the plant to another? So, to answers to all these questions lies in the various mechanisms of transport in plants. So, it is not only just one way by which plants transport these substances. There are various mechanisms of transport in plants. Now, some of the important mechanisms which we are going to touch right now here are diffusion, osmosis, transpiration, pull. These are some of the common mechanisms by which substances, whether it is water or food or minerals, they get transported from one part of the plant to another. Because these vessels are, they are these, whether it is xylem or phloem, they are just the vessels which are going to carry the substances from one part to another. But there has to be some reason because of which the movement of these substances take place in a particular direction. So when I say that the xylem vessels carry water from in the upward direction, so what causes water to move in the upward direction? So that is where these mechanisms play a very important role. Now in order to understand these, we have to discuss each of these mechanisms in detail one by one. So first let us try to understand what is diffusion, what do we mean by diffusion? So diffusion is the movement of a substance. Now forget about water or food or minerals. It is just a simple definition that any substance will move from a region of higher concentration towards a region of lower concentration. Now it is something like uh, you just imagine a situation where a person is very rich and another person is very poor. So how will the flow of money happen? So if this person is rich and this person is poor. So how do you think money should get transferred? Whether the rich should give money to the poor or the poor should give money to the rich. The rich should give money to the poor. Why? Because the amount of money is more in case of this rich person and the amount of money is less in case of the poor person. So the money is getting moved from a region of higher concentration that is where it is in larger amounts towards a region of lower concentration where money is present in lesser amounts and this concept holds true for every substance. So the uh, phenomenon in which any substance moves from a region where it is present in more concentration towards a region where it is present in less concentration. This process is known as diffusion. And Let's look at this example. Let us suppose the this is some these are some molecules. So they are concent where in which side is the concentration more? Either on side A or on side B. So of course the number of molecules are more on side A. So the concentration is more on side A. So how will the diffusion take place? Diffusion would mean movement of these substances from side A to side B, and this movement will continue till the concentration of the molecules on both sides become equal. So this process is called diffusion. So whenever there is a difference in the concentration of a substance in, in two locations, then there will be a net movement of that substance from a region where the concentration is more towards a region where the concentration is less. So this, con this concept or this phenomenon is called diffusion. So this is extremely important for gaseous movement within a plant because inside a plant even the gases like oxygen or carbon dioxide they also need to be transported from one part to another. As I have mentioned before that on the leaves of plant you have small pores called stomata and through stomata you are able the stomata is able to do gaseous exchange with the atmosphere. 
but again the gases which are taken in by stomata that also needs to be supplied to other plant parts like roots so how that movement of gas will happen inside so that will also happen based on their concentration so wherever their concentration is more for example in case of leaves the concentration of that particular gas is more so it will start moving from leaves towards the roots because to on the roots their concentration is very less so this is one driving force behind the movement of substances inside a plant so let us now see where exactly diffusion happens in case of plants so when you look at this huge plant so this plant is also made up of a large number of cells right like how our body is made up of cells similarly plant is also made up of cells so one plant cell looks somewhat like this so you know uh, as i have explained before also the cells are nothing but they are building blocks of any, any living organism so just like you we have bricks and a lot of bricks together form a building similarly a lot of cells together form an organism so a lot of plant cells together form this entire plant so if you look at each of these plant cell this cell has a membrane which is called plasma membrane so you see the outer membrane this green colored membrane which you see that is nothing but the cell membrane or the plasma membrane now materials are allowed to move across this membrane only by the process of diffusion so because of diffusion that that is whenever the concentration of those materials will be high outside so they will start moving inside the cell whenever the concentration of those materials will be less outside the cell then they will start moving out of the plant cell so that's how movement of different types of materials across the cell membrane also happens by diffusion so that that's how we can see that in plants diffusion is one important mechanism uh, with the help of which a lot of transport takes place so the next mechanism that we are going to talk about is osmosis now osmosis is also concept wise it is very similar to diffusion but in this case we only talk about movement of water so osmosis is diffusion of water across a semi permeable membrane permeable means anything that allows other substances to pass through it semi permeable means it selectively allows certain substances to pass through it now whenever we are talking about transport of uh, water so there comes this term osmosis this as that means as per this water will always move from a region of higher concentration towards a region of lower concentration so if you look at this example here you have a beaker where it is uh, partitioned into two halves with the help of a semi permeable membrane so the green line here denotes a membrane so now water will flow from this side to this side why because the concentration on this side is more and the concentration on this side is less therefore movement of water will take place in this direction and this process is called osmosis so as per this movement occurs from a region of higher water potential towards a region of lower water potential so the simple concept is that every time the movement will happen from higher to lower now we all know by now that how important water is for plants so plants cannot survive without water and what are the various ways by which plants get water so one primary uh, source of water is the soil so soil contains a lot of water and this water is absorbed by the roots of the plant so the concentration of water is more in the roots when compared to uh, the stems or the branches so that is why movement of water takes place from roots towards the branches and leaves so that also happens due to this concept of or due to this difference in concentration gradient thank you please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again